go here. My bullet rating, I think it's pretty low right now. I would say usually it's around 3,000. That's pretty fair. Go here. Sometimes I wonder, is it going to be bishop a6, bishop b7? Okay, who's there? Knight h5, not a problem. Uh, he spends a lot of time to get the bishop. Plus, before he played this, I could respond with bishop g5. So, short answer, no. I would say not a problem. Eighty five and eighty six looks likely. Hmm. What the hell are we going to do? Let's stop 94. Bit of a weird move. Queen c2 I don't like as much because c4 my bishop has to go back there. He can't play knight e4. He can't play e5. He can't play bishop there. I wouldn't say it's the easiest position for him to play. Congrats, Ty Randall. New rapid peak. Fredzilla TV. I already started an esports org. Been there, done that, my man. It's a uh, tough question, Enzo. H3. It always has uh, a certain timing to it. But I can say in the d6, like King's Indian positions, I play it early because knight h5 is a threat early. And 
And in these ones, I wait because a lot of times bishop comes to d6 and I want to play bishop g3. So I kind of need the pawn on h2 there. Rook here, rook c1, queen c8, queen b2, and you can't take the, the bishop. There's bishop b4 there. I'm not sure how that works out. Hmm. It's called Chess Fra. No, I was actually talking about a different one, a real esports or chess ninja. I don't know if uh, I think it might have been just at or before your time. To be honest, you can just take it. Hmm. Might have to allow the knight in there. I just don't really see a way I can keep these two pieces sitting there for the whole game. So I can't play rook c1. Bishop is not very good, but now knight e4 can be played. I just realized also with the queen there. Mm. Okay, I feel we're a little bit happy to be able to move our pieces around a little bit here. E5, A5. I'd like to have time to play Queen A1. Most likely he's going to do this. So 
suppose this is also possible. Even takes in b5 is, is not crazy. That actually looks kind of good. Maybe takes, takes, and b5. I think we want to take this. We could also go back, but we're handing over that square. Takes b5. I don't see... I mean, he has, he can put something on a3, but it feels like that's not good enough. I mean, we could also play queen a1, but I, I like b5 a lot more. We're likely to see one of these. That's right, learner. We're here at the ass crack of dawn. Ninety-five. Rook takes queen b seven. Knight c six. And knight c six can be played there. Also, this pawn is loose. I feel like I might just take here. Queen b7, knight here. Bishop back, and then I'm not exactly sure what's happening. I'm just going to take here to keep it simple and just bring the rook back to a1. Hello, Qcorn. Which openings are you looking into? Our king has a safety net of king h2, so he might play this. I think we'll just double. I don't really have a threat yet, but I'm hoping to make one. F6, maybe queen g4. Hmm, he has queen f7, okay, not super well thought out, maybe we take this, how do we recover this? I thought queen g4, but just guards this knight. Is this, only gm can do this, no? Play queen g4 with confidence, and then instead of him taking the piece, 
and maybe calling that out. Keep blunders made in one. Surely this only happens to me, not you guys. Only me. This is a privilege thing. <laughs> instead, instead of taking the piece, and who knows what would have happened, he decides to end the game. I mean, I'm not saying Queen G4 was a terrible move. But obviously I would have played this. Because this is defended and the knight's defended. So, I mean, I'm not hopeless here. I have three pawns for the piece, but this is clearly not what we're supposed to be doing. Clearly not. 